Hello everyone, you have joined us this week and you're watching the news of the week of the 6th March through 10th March. I'm Amina. And I'm Karima. And this is Good Morning ECS. Announcements. EC and Lower School Math Week challenge, Challenges. Find the QR codes around your area to uncover your grade level challenge, 6th through 4th, 24th March. Prizes are graded on the 31st of March. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Jokes of the Week. Have you ever heard about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> I had a crazy dream last night. I was swimming in an ocean of orange soda. Turns out it was just a fantasy. <laughs> I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. <laughs> England doesn't have a kidney bank, but it does have a liver pool. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Roving Reporter. Today I'm here with two of the art students who are presenting their amazing artworks at the exhibition Creativity on the Edge. Uh, hi, my name is Afia. I'm one of the students doing their exhibition here today. Okay, I have a few questions for Afia about her process and going what she had to go through to make this amazing. Her, your work is amazing, honestly. Um, so, tell us a little bit about your artwork. Um, so, my exhibition consists of 18 pieces. Um, all of them are, well not all of them are different mediums, but it's several different mediums. Mostly uh, oil painting and uh, graphite sketches. So, um, but I don't really have an overall theme like a lot of the others do. Mine is just kind of, it's supposed to be bits and pieces about, I mean it's supposed to kind of show my interests and the type of person I am. Um, yeah. Okay, so what did what process did you follow to make your artwork? Um, so for the paintings, I always start with doing a quick ske a sketch on the canvas. Often with the bigger paintings, I'll do a quick like thumbnail sketch on some paper first, and then I do I lay out the shapes and stuff on canvas. Uh, sometimes with colored pencil, sometimes with charcoal. It depends on what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I just uh, get my paints ready and I block out the main colors first and then I blend, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So what did you find challenging about, like the most challenging throughout making your artworks? Um, so before I decided to do this theme, I wanted to make, uh, I wanted my exhibition to be about like um, the injury that I had, right? So I wanted to make it about that. So coming up with pieces for that was really difficult. So like creating, completely original uh, pieces on something that um, was a kind of a new experience for me was uh, very interesting and kind of hard to do uh, but then once I allowed myself a bit more freedom I found that much easier uh, creating the pieces but even then creating the pieces was still quite tough um, it took a lot of time yeah okay so what did you enjoy the most about this experience uh, it's been really interesting to kind of explore uh, my art making skills because uh, normally the types of things I make are just kind of small sketches or small paintings just for myself um, so it's been nice to be able to make more conceptual work which I don't make normally um, and more kind of detailed pieces with uh, more meaning behind them. So do you have any advice to people who want to take art in 11th and 12th grade? Um, I, I think I would just say that you have to be prepared for the work because it is a lot of work uh, and not just like art making work like your s technical skills aren't even as important necessarily like they are important but it's like it's fine if you don't have that much technical skill um, what's really important is the writing and the like journaling and uh, r writing everything that you're doing down that's the, what's most important so I would just say to be prepared for that okay thank you Afia for your time thank you guys for watching EC and Lower School Maths Week Challenges. Find the QR codes around your area to uncover your grade level challenges 6 through 24 March. Prizes are awarded on 31st March. Good luck.
we would like to announce the beginning of a lower school cross country running season. This is a, spe this is a special before school activity that promotes active uh, living. The goal is to teach them how to keep moving throughout life and enjoy it while adding efficiency and preventing injury as much as possible. Students grade two to five are invited to sign up for morning seasons Sunday through Thursday, 6.45 to 7.15. 8 March is the International Women's Day. This day began in the early 19th, 1900s, but was considered an official international celebration in 1975 when the United Nations recognized the day to work together in making a better society without gender bias. Middle and High School Choir. Do you like to sing? Want to sing in a group? Join Middle High School Choir. See posters around school and fill out the form to sign up. Contact Miss Sandra, the lower school music teacher, for more information. The Grade 12 Art Exhibition, Creativity on Edge, opens um, op opens next this week. Mark your calendars for the 6th through 10th March in the theater. Grade 12s have been preparing for their for this exhibition to share their work from their two-year art course. Wednesday evening from 6 to 7 p.m., the theater is open to the community to meet the artists and see the artwork. Please be sure to have green Ahtaraz vaccinations or negative RAT Wear your mask and maintain, maintain social distancing if you're joining us. If you're joining us. Grade 10 Virtual Personal Project Exhibition. The Grade 10s have shared their personal project with the community on the 22nd of February uh, through the virtual exhibition site. Projects range from the arts to the sciences and everything in between. Be sure to check out the virtual site and see how amazing our grade 10s are. Paragon 1 externships are open again. Grade 10 to 12 students, are you interested in interning at Facebook or Hewlett Packard? Want to have some real world experiences to see if this is something you want to pursue in the future? Sign up for more information on the PSL Doha Partnership page or email Mr. Elliot for more information. Career Talk Webinar What has sustainability got to do with tech, finance, fashion, and architecture? Join the career event to hear four talented Copenhagen alumni share how sustainability underpins their careers in tech, finance, fashion, and architecture from March 17 to 2022 at 10 p.m. BE Sports is hosting a March camp. 13th to 17th of March. Students, students aged to 4 to 14 are invited to sign up for the week-long camp. Activities include basketball, cooking, rugby, science, and soccer, and, and will be here on our ACS Doha Cancer. Register through the email at info at besports.me. Midterm break is next week, 13, 17 March. Have a restful and relaxing week. Thank you everyone for catching your weekly news updates with Good Morning ACS. Have a great week.